So listen, drivers, you guys always come to me with questions. You hit me up in the email. You hit me up in my DMs. You hit me up in my text messages. You hit me up in my live feeds whenever I decide to go live. And you guys come with some very, very, very good questions, with some good insights. I take all of those questions, I take all of those insights, and I formulate this little takeaway. So for new drivers that's coming in, what I want you guys to do is to not listen to TikTok drivers. A lot of misinformation, not a lot of discords, a lot of stuff that they be talking, they be talking on their own fruition. So what I want you to do is I want you guys to take about six months, at least a year, maybe more to just practice being patient and learning and i guarantee you that when you look back a year later from where you actually started to where you're going to be you're gonna be like jeez lockout men you was right and what i mean by practice uh, is what it is after you get off your trainer's truck the learning never stops. The first year is going to be a tumultuous year for you because that first year you're going to do any and everything. And it's best to do it in a company truck instead of your own truck. Because a lot of you guys talking about, yo, I want to get my own truck. I want to get my own truck after I become a company driver. After, after I get with this company, I'm going to go in and be a lease driver. But see, being the lease driver, you're responsible for any and everything on that truck. No, sir, ma'am, get all your practice. Get all your learning in, in a company truck because lo and behold if you tear up that lease truck you're responsible for it you're responsible for the repairs you're responsible for the damages you're responsible for everything but a company truck well i mean the only bad thing that can happen to you in a company truck is that they'll let you go but that's part of the learning experience as well. Now, depending on what you do, hopefully it's not major, but let's say if you get into a little backing incident or a little fender bender or a little side swipe, that's all part of the learning. That's where practice comes into play. But we talking about practice, man. What are we talking about? Practice? We're talking about practice, man. Practice. Everything. Practice. Driving. Practice. This backing. Practice. Parking. Because. Practice. When you're doing it, you're going to get better at it. They say makes perfect. Why do you think LeBron James is at the top of his game? Because. He practice every day. Even when he's not playing ball, he still practice somewhere. Jordan did not become the icon that he is today because of no practice. practice. He practice. Jay-Z did not become the route mogul that he is today because he didn't practice. Practice is work. Practice. This is craft. That's what you gotta do when you in trucking. You gotta practice. Sometimes you gotta practice on jobs in order to be better at it. You wanna be a flatbed? Well, you gotta practice throwing them tarps on so that your timing could be a little bit better. 
in the beginning, you're going to take about an hour, two hours. But if you keep at it and if you practice, then that timing is going to be a half an hour, maybe 15 minutes. Hell, maybe to the point that you can probably throw that shit on blindfolded and get down the road. Practice. That's what you need to do. Learning. Because the learning never stops. Learn the truck. Learn the business. Now, I know a lot of old schoolers will come and tell you, well, learn your truck. Because if you don't learn your truck, if you don't learn what the truck is about, then how are you going to be an effective owner? And I thought about that for years because I always tell the owner operators, I'm like, yo, man, this ain't my truck. I will call roadside to come over and let them do it because the companies don't want you messing around with their trucks. But 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 listen when that roadside comes over and they work on the truck it does it, it's it's not a bad idea just to get out of the truck and watch what they're doing get out of the truck to understand what they're doing now in the situation that i was in this past week i already knew what was the matter because it happened before i got out of the truck and i was with that roadside guy to know that the system the little cap that's over here on the right side of the truck well that's my death sensor and that has a tendency of breaking i know that now because it happened then and i knew that now when i was broken down this past weekend now unfortunately the roadside guy that came over to repair it was a was a douchebag and an asshole but if there was any other situation that had happened if it wasn't that and you damn right i would have been out asking questions even though i probably might irritate the guy like mm, what is that how you do that what is what do i need for that you know now even though this isn't my truck i do agree now with the old schoolers that's been telling me for years learn the truck because when you do want to become an owner operator simple fixes can mean a lot of money to be saved your airline come apart well go to ta buy some new airlines buy some tools tick tick two screw flip flip boom you're back on the road didn't take you that long at all right instead of sitting out on the road in your own truck for five six seven hours on the highway <laughs> See, when you become an owner operator, things look a little bit different. Sitting on a highway for five hours waiting on roadside would be looking a little bit different when you have your own truck. And then you'll understand when your dispatcher say, hey, you think you can limp down and get that tire fixed? Believe me, if you're an owner operator, yeah, you would have did that. You would have limped down and got the tire fits. Bip, bam, boom, you're back on the road, back to making that money. Because you know time is money as an owner operator. So learn the truck. Practice. Every time you get a chance to. Patience, my guy. That's another thing you're gonna need in trucking. You're gonna need a whole lot of patience because you're gonna end up getting in with shippers and receivers that's gonna be a-holes. You're gonna get in on this road with drivers that's gonna be a-holes. You're gonna get in with these truck stops and they're gonna be a-holes. 
a lot of patience. You need some woosa, my guy. Woosa. Because there's going to be a time where your patience is going to be challenged. And it's up to you to make sure that you're in a good space that you can actually handle it. Patience, practice, and learning. And then when it comes to that milestone in trucking, that one year, that two year, you can actually look back and say, man, I came a long way. Also, with that said, you could be able to find that company that will treat you well because of the milestones that you had hit. Maybe the current company just ain't doing it for you no more, but like I said before, you just used that company to get everything you need so that when you do go to another company, you already know what to do. Big G's got it locked, boy.